grab your swimsuits because this is going to be an epic review of Great Wolf Lodge Concord. We're going to get soaked. I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to save the most money at Great Wolf while having the most fun possible. We're also going to talk about those different level passes and whether or not they're worth it. We came to Great Wolf during the holidays and it was decorated so beautifully. The first thing we did was we hit up that water area and there was this giant wave pool. The deepest was about five feet. And there were opportunities all over for you to get soaked and Cairo was just having a blast. Okay, yeah, I was having fun too, but everything was all in one place for the kids and the adults to have fun. Cairo spent most of his time in like this little kitty area. It had about two feet of water and he was able to just go in and have so much fun. There were life jackets for the little ones if you wanted to use that and so many areas to do different things and just be active. They also had bigger slides for people who just need a little bit more thrill in their lives. You could rent a cabana near the uh, water activities. It had a TV, refrigerator, and seating for the family. Now you would not go hungry in this area either. They had um, a concession stand. They sold like burgers, fries, drinks, ice cream. It's really convenient. We didn't eat there, but we did eat here, the Loose Moose Cottage. And this is the Great Wolf Lodge cafeteria, so that if you don't want to, you don't have to go anywhere else. What I liked about it was this jungle woods theme that they had going on inside the cafeteria. And the food was pretty good. This was the breakfast spread, plenty of meats. They had those cute little dollar pancakes with the wolf print and some French toast and rolls. If your kids like cereal, they had all that stuff too. I took that little great wolf plate with paw prints and I used it for portion control, honey. Yes, this was my plate, not Cairo's. Now I'm gonna head down to the lower level where they have even more food. And this is where all the fun is. Everybody here is super friendly. They say hi to you. Oh look, oh my God, there's a Dunkin' Donuts. There's a Dunkin' Donuts right in the Great Wolf, so you can get your coffee, your donuts. It's right next to the gift shop. Lots of people were walking around with these wolf ears and when you purchase one, Great Wolf Lodge will donate $2 to Make-A-Wish Foundation. The gift shop came equipped with its very own Build-A-Bear workshop. Now if you had purchased a pup pass, you would receive one free stuffed animal with the purchase of your pup pass, but an outfit is not included. No matter which level of pass you got, each one of them did come with one serving of bulk candy. So my son took this cup and he was able to just load up on all the sweets and treats he wanted. He shared it with his brother and it actually lasted a couple of days. So he just jammed everything in there and when he was done, he could barely fit the lid on. So 
So if you didn't have everything that you needed, you could buy it here at Great Wolf Lodge. They had another swim shop with different swim essentials for kids and adults, stylish swimsuits, backpacks, water shoes, swim trunks, just anything you might need. Also swim diapers. The swim diapers, of course, are a little bit more expensive than what you would find you know, at your Target or at your Walmart, but the prices were still pretty good. But just make sure you bring everything that you need so that you don't have to spend any extra cash in this shop. Next, it was down to the arcade with our Wolf Pass. Now, all three levels of passes give you a 20 credit card for playing games. Now, what I didn't realize about the Wolf Pass was that it's one per person. So it's if you want everyone in your family to do all of these activities, you're going to need more passes or you just pay for them once you arrive. Um, we did fine with one Wolf Pass because not everyone wants to do everything, you know. So the 20 credits, we boosted that with $5 and they gave us 45 credits. And then we just went down and had some fun. Also on this Wolf Pass, we were able to have a free bowling game. Now this bowling alley is not your standard bowling alley. As you can see, it's for the little ones. They have the tiny little balls and Cairo was just having fun, but it's not a full scale bowling alley. The lobby was just a Christmas winter wonderland and they were playing the Christmas music and it was just so cozy. They had the fireplace and all the kids were just running freely in the lobby and playing games and stuff. So at night, all the kids put on their pajamas and they come in this area for story time. And last night they had story time, it was great. Like this whole area was like filled with kids in their pajamas, it was so cute. Check-in was really easy. We got the wolf pass here, but if I had it to do again, I'd probably, you know, maybe get the paw pass or something because we didn't wind up doing every single thing and not everyone wanted to do everything. One of the things that came with the Wolf Pass was the mining experience. Now this was really cute because the kids got to kind of like be prospectors and look for gemstones and Kyra really loved it. I love that they had these like little hard hats and costumes so you could go mining. The first thing you did was take one of these bags um, with the dirt and you dumped it into the sifter. Kyra really liked playing with the dirt. <laughs> Prospecting, we're looking for gold. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Dirt, dirt, dirt. All right. Oh, wow! Look at that, we actually struck gold. I like anything you buy. And now you can see the gemstones coming out. They had real gemstones. You know, of course, it's a crapshoot as to what you get, but I saw some amethyst in there and some quartz. We're waiting to go in to play laser tag, and the best thing is that the three-year-old is able to go in and play with us. Only the Wolf Pass includes the game of laser tag, the mining experience, and mini golf, which we didn't get to do the mini golf. That's why I said, I'm not sure that, you know, if we did it again, we probably wouldn't need the wolf pass because we didn't get to do everything. I'm glad we got to do this though. Oh my God, they're after me. Just wait right here. are gonna die today. The church ball is coming. There he is! There he is! I got them. Okay. I just need a place to hide. That looks like a good place to hide. Let's go. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> I've been hit. They're ganging up on me. They're closing in on me. <laughs> Got 3,400 points? Is that what that says? Blazer tag, that's so fun. That's one of the things you have to do if you come here. I'm sweating. So this wolf pass allows us to do a lot of different things. You know, at least one person, that's the thing you need to know, like one person is able to do these activities and you have to pay for the other people. Somebody can get a free ice cream scoop. Well, it's not free, we paid for it already with the wolf pass but someone gets an ice cream scoop and anybody else who wants ice cream has to pay. It looks like we're gonna do magic quest and with the wolf pass, we get a free wand and you pay for the topper. They had two different games or adventures that you could go on. One was magic quest and the other one was shadow quest. So we did magic quest and in here we're just getting our wand and Cairo chose his topper. And then that wand gets programmed so that it can open up different obstacles or objects on the course or you know during the quest. And you just point and it's supposed to like do all these magical things. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we need to do with our new sword, weapon, wand is head over to this kiosk and choose a quest. We have to find these crystals and we have to make sure that we hit accept. Cairo was a lot more interested in the sword that he got than he was in the magic wand. So his dad just took control of the adventure. <laughs> oh! No! <laughs> You have found the red crystal. What about this picture? You have found the blue crystal. We found the blue crystal! So we just pointed that wand and magical things happened all around us. While we were exploring, we met this darling child that was really into Shadow Quest. He had been to Great Wolf several times and he has played the game many many times he was so excited how many times have you been here six wow okay follow daddy we're on an adventure we have to find the crystals the yellow crystal glimmers brightly up among the pines the lady in the leaves will help you with a dazzle room say thank you ma'am and please so after we go back Oh my God, we, we have, have to, to find back. these crystals. I can't leave here until I find these crystals. The last mission is to find the lady in the leaves. Be watchful, Najai. I am the eyes of the wolf. Are you worthy of gazing into my very soul? To the fourth floor, sire. Ooh, so pretty. So I tallied everything up and it looks like we didn't get our money's worth out of the wolf pass because there were three things that we didn't do on the list. With everything that we did do above the line, it came to about $75 after I tallied everything up. So if we had done the mini golf, the XD theater and the atomic rush, it likely would have totaled $84, $85, which is the cost of the actual wolf pass. Now, if you have multiple children it, and you're going to be staying for many days, it probably will be worth it for you to buy the Wolf Pass and make sure that everyone gets a chance to do every single thing. Many things Benjamin didn't want to do. There are many things that I was not interested in, like why do I need the mining experience, you know? So if you're going to purchase any of these passes, you want to make sure that you're going to use and have each of those experiences and be able to, you know, experience everything that Great Wolf has to offer. 
So we had a great time, and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped. Bye.